Hey guys, this is Mac Kids in the One with Java Lesson 6. In this Java lesson, we're going to be learning a few new things that are majorly important concepts that I haven't really brought through to you guys. The first one of these concepts is methods, voids, or functions. The second one that is kind of cooler is random number generator. So, I'm going to open up Xcode. And now I'm going to create a new project, Java, Java tool, and I'm going to call it random numbers. Okay, now I'll go into source, random numbers.java. So there are a few things in this code that I haven't pointed out to you yet. The first one being that right here is public class job um, random numbers which is the name of the class that you're currently editing random numbers you can refer to it from other classes since it's a public class and I'll explain that to you later inside of here is something called public static void main within that we put our code but what does public static void main mean well public means it's accessible from anywhere Static means it's the same in all class instances. Void means nothing, so it, it's not going to return anything. And main is the name of the function. When Java runs an application, it looks for a main function in the code. Now the cool thing about Java is that you can have multiple functions that look kind of like this. Public, static, void, main. The way it works is you do public or private you can do static then you do the variable type that it's going to return void means nothing and then you have the function name under this static void we can put another one and I'll make it an int and I'll call it ran and now left parenthesis if you have parameters you want to set on it then this is how you do it so as you can see right here left bracket or left parenthesis then there's a type of variable right parenthesis so in this case it's an array of strings called args so anywhere in here we can say args and it refers to the variable called args which is declared here so right here between these parentheses I'm going to say int max left parenthesis now I'll use curly braces to represent what's inside the function so right here, this int means that we are going to have to return an int later on. And this int means that when someone else is calling it, they'll have to give us an int. Max stands for maximum, by the way. There's another type of variable called random. So I'll make it random. Called rand, and I'll make it a new random. And I'll say int n equals rand that next int and what rand is it's a class called random a class is kind of like an object when we say new random we're making a new object called that that's a random called rand the rand dot next int is going to run the function next int on the class rand so somewhere in java.util is a class called random and inside of that class random there's a function on it that returns an int called next int and in that next int you pass it um, the maximum amount it can go so I'm just gonna say max because that's being declared up here then I'll do right parenthesis semicolon and on the next line I'm gonna do return n so rand that next int is going to create an integer that's totally random from I believe it's zero or maybe it's one to the maximum value so it's going to be less than the maximum value and it's going to be more than negative one now I'm returning n so right here here's a cool thing right here I can say int random number equals and then watch this I say rand left parenthesis 10 right parenthesis so that is going to make this code run right here and it's going to make this integer be 10 
and it's going to m return a random number between 1 and 10 and assign it to random number which is an int we have up here hello world and then here I'm going to print out the random number the number was random number so now I'll run it the number was 1 so if I build and go again it'll say the number was let's say 4 again 6 now it's 0 and so on so this is how to make a function that returns an int. Say so you want to make a function that prints out an int. I'm just going to say public static void. That means I don't have to return anything. Print random number int number. And I'm going to go here. What this is going to do, all it's going to run is system that out that print line. Random number number and there's that so now I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna call print random number random number and there we go so now random number I guess spelled random wrong either way this is how to do functions and how to do random numbers, just as a good example. Here's what else you can do. You can even make a public static string if you want to. String random message. And I'm going to give it no parameters. That means that's why there's nothing in here. Now I'll say return quote quote. And inside of these quotes, I'm going to say random number. Okay. And now I'm going to, instead of printing out random number, I'm going to say random message plus number. And watch this. There we go. Random number zero. So this is a, a, a string that just returns a string. And it has no parameters. You can also do two parameters. For instance, like this. I'm going to make it a boolean. I'm going to make use random message. Now I'm going to say if use random message, then I'll print it out this way using the random message function. And else, I'll print it out using my own string. So, as you'll see here in a bit, I'm going to add comma space true to this. And this is how you do multiple parameters, you just use commas. So right here is our same old function. I'm going to make it use the random number, random message. It'll stay, it'll say that. If I change this to false, now it'll just say number, because it's going to this instead. So that's pretty cool so now what I'll do just for fun is I'll say if rand less than five then I'll just print out number and else I'll print out random number true so this way what I can do is I can make it so that it prints out just plain old number colon if the random number that's been generated is less than five if it's more or equal to five then it'll do this it'll use the random message which is random number now another cool thing that you might notice is I don't use curly braces here this is because if it's a one line if statement you don't have to use curly braces you can literally just do it this way if no semicolon or anything the code semicolon and then you directly after that you can put an else you don't have to use semicolons now I prefer to put an enter after this so that way it looks more like an if statement but remember enter means nothing semicolons the magic but anyway that's that so now oops 
I forgot to say random number. I said rand. Okay, so now if I run it, it says number there. If I run it again, it says random number. And again, it says another random number. Let's see if we can get another number. Seems like a lot of things are greater than five. Yeah, there we go. So another number. So this is how random numbers work and how functions work. So I hope you get this. If you do not, I will post this entire Xcode project online. And just to prove that, I'll zip it up now. and This will be exactly what you see in the description of the video. So anyway, thanks for watching Mac Kids in a One. Subscribe and goodbye.